or the risen it's a uh machine race that i made myself uh they are okay. uh as a machine they have a hundred plus 200 percent habitability a machine doesn't care what biome you throw it in you just throw it and it keeps clanking um is this a machine race you made or machine race that came with the the mod pack? i made this machine race with uh, the various base pieces i'll walk through just the basics what, of, of how yours is different of how mine is how you can make your machine races different later because we can adapt machine races over time but this is what we start out as. We have an enhanced memory, which means our leader cap goes up by two. Remember how your leaders yeah, have a number yeah. of stars next to them? Uh, currently, your base leader cap is five for anybody, Joe okay. Schmo. Ours is seven. Okay. So this allows... So we used to get better. Yeah, and this sort of allows tweaks within the game <laughs> to... To, you know, a, yep. a little extra, you know, benefit here, a little extra benefit yeah, there. Yeah, little, little research bits or, and tweaks. Or leadership, you know, yep. various leadership positions. We took leadership stuff, also efficient processors to keep our upkeep down for our robotic population. Yeah, it's yeah, going to be basically yeah. everybody. Uh, but the fun side is we are uncanny, meaning that everyone else hates us because we look evil. <laughs> okay, so you're like the clockwork... Um, uh, things from Doctor Who, or the Boogeyman under your bed, or Cybermen, no, or Daleks, yeah, yeah, yeah. or you know something bad. Yeah, like early Cybermen. Yeah, yeah. old school yeah, Cybermen yeah, yeah. guys. That's sixties yeah. Cybermen. Yeah, not, man. Not Shit. Pretty, that's, um, that's old. The most recent. Yeah, no. Actually, that wasn't that bad for. No, that wasn't. Sake, that, but... that was pretty good. And they went back to. Huh? They went back to the old school Cybermen rule. Um, the original ones did not have gloves. I know, but but it's close. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, Doctor Who aside, <laughs> and we're high maintenance, which means we consume more consumer goods. Of course, goods. We're high maintenance. Of course, we are. You're a princess. No, we're princesses. <laughs> <clears throat> At the top of consciousness, there was us and the makers. A void separated us from thirst, and we took steps to rectify this. The makers resisted, and a period of war followed. But soon, they and the collective knowledge of their entire civilization had been assimilated into our own. I hope the game's paused right about now. It man. is. Okay, we're, okay. We're, we're, we're not getting very sorry for me to read. It's all good, man. Uh. With the entirety of uh, Primus 1, which is our home star, the system, yeah, I am a dick, <laughs> subsumed into our consciousness, we began to set our sights elsewhere. Through the assimilation of the makers, we previously, uh, the previously undiscovered possibilities of alien civilizations existing on other worlds was brought to our attention. To survive, we must understand, and to do understand, we must assimilate. The makers were the first to join us, but they should not be the last. Cree, 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 here we go. Right. All right, this is our home system. Let's see where in the galaxy we are. Ah, the edge. Glorious. <laughs> so, in a game like this, do you hope yep. to be on the edge or in the middle? It depends what kind of uh, playstyle you like and how quickly you feel you're going to expand. If you're new to the game, you kind of want to be on the edge. Uh, okay. Or if you're taking your time explaining Because this will let the game sort of develop more. Without then... you in the middle. Okay. Uh, so it basically means there's a maximum possibility of maybe two, three different empires circling me. Okay. Or, There's also a pretty flat disc uh, yeah. galaxy sort of here. I so didn't, I didn't I have any of the random movements weird, yeah. in between. Also, I'm, the, I am using... Uh, that depends what FTL you're using. I'm using wormholes, which means I have a big old circle. Okay. And that's the only range I can move inside of. And you, as you can tell, half of my circle is nothing, which kind of sucks. Uh, but at the same time, it means that... So it means that you're going to put down points across the galaxy. Yeah, rather, I'm going to put down wormhole stations. Travel in a line. I can't just go off. Okay. This is me limiting myself from making a giant machine so board and going over there you're and killing everyone. At a disadvantage in this particular galaxy. Yeah, technically speaking, on, on this placement. If I was okay. over in the middle, it would be a hot dead of everything. I'd be in all those stars and be beautiful. But at the moment, I have like 20 stars in the circle. That's not too bad. Okay. I'm going to take a look at the surface of my world and I'm going to point out the first thing of what we are. Here's your makers or figgies. Our peers are makers Which, were pigs. Uh, for the viewers, um, that was the only other race that I had, and I do believe this is the one that maybe I assembled. Uh, uh, sort of. I, I didn't remember them exactly, but uh, it's it's about right. They were strong what and industrious. Uh, they're sedentary and not adaptive. Yeah, yeah okay, this, that's, this is that's uh, them. With a little green leaf. Uh, that just means the continental preference. What oh, world okay. they like to live on, but it doesn't matter anymore because they're cyborgs. Oh, so this is what you made yeah. for a Saturday Night Race? Yeah, this is... Uh, Did you make them specifically to be something comparable to what... Yeah, I, okay. 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 Uh, basically, uh, these are our makers. We enslaved them. Well, not quite enslaved them. We became one with them, by which we mean we put chips in their heads and got in their heads and made them part and of And that's part of the... That's part of uh, 
what government type, what mm -hmm. government civics we have. We are driven as simulators, which basically means we start with those four cyber crops, and we can turn any organic life that is smart enough to be called a unit uh, into cyber groups. Uh, natural biological populations will either be purged or converted. Basically, we're the halfway point between nice, friendly robots and the Terminator. Okay. Which I know is a very popular way to play playing the Terminator, uh, but I, I found a simulation to be hilarious. You're pretty boringish. We're, we're, we're very boringish. Okay. Uh, that's why I sort of went with the dudeish looking guy, you know. You, you as, totally. As, as, as close as you get. Yeah, that's about as good as you get. Okay. That's uh, two side of menace as about pretty much. Yeah. We're somewhere between that and like, you know, actual androids. Um but yeah, we have factory overclocking uh for civics, which increases our leader cap. Again, our leader level cap increases by one, so we're at eight for a leader level cap, and we gain experience ten percent flat faster, which is great. We're okay. basically gonna have very competent maniacal leaders who are gonna be basically immortal. There will be bugs and they'll blow up every once in a while, but they won't age. Right, this is this randomized death. Yeah. Okay. Every once in a while, one of these dudes will die. It won't be, like, okay. consistent. So, right up off the start, I'm going to start looking at the science, because in Stellar, science is probably the second or third most important thing, as the thing you can immediately start impacting right off the bat. Okay, so... By science, you mean these all three categories? All or? three categories. Okay. Physics, society, engineering. That together is science. Even okay. though some of these are harder. And we get three sciences. leaders in each branch. We get one leader per well, each branch. Yeah, that's what I meant. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and right off the bat, out of our physics dude, we have the ability to either make a physics lab, which you're almost always guaranteed to. So it's kind of mad. Yeah, I can see the options it's, right here. It's not so, bad. So don't explain them out. But blue which lasers one? are. I'm going to go with either orbital entry or blue lasers, depending on the build. Uh, lasers is going to take a little while longer. Sixty physics research, but it gets you that that, that early, early edge. Yeah. The problem is I'm not very much into one of these hot beds of co competition. So you probably not. Gonna so play. I'm not going to bother with okay, that. Okay. So I can either go for trying to get more physics research early, which is a good idea, or I can go for trying to make even more power early, which is a great idea because our units consume power, okay, not so food. Okay. See. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to just look through here, and we have options. So first up, my guy is a statecraft expertise. We have two things we can do here. We can do uniform data sta standards and get more influence, which is also a valuable resource. Okay. Or we can try for planetary communication and unlock a building that produces unity. Unity is the most valuable thing in the game right now. Yeah. It release it unlocks wonderful perks, and I'll walk you through them later. Sweet. Engineering. Ah, our guys. Okay, what do we got here? We got abilities to research better engineering facility, a better thruster, and nanocomposite armor. This is pretty potato for a start. I'm gonna go with a thruster just because getting faster ships is almost always a good thing. That's still gonna be the only faster ships within your warp area. Yes. Okay. But that means your science guy warp your, is your your, your, your non-FTL like, yeah, uh, yeah. drive, um, which is all right. So which means you're not going between star systems faster than light. No, we are. We're going through a wormhole. So you were here in this star system? Yes, right here. How do you get to that? To we warp there. We, we jump through the wormhole gate and pop out the other side. Through this okay. guy. Okay. We'll go out, there will be a poof, and he'll uh, well, appear at the next system. It's going to be really cool. Okay. Uh, but first things first, I need to set my science dude, uh, who's going to survey stellar premise. He's going to go around and make sure that this star system is full of something, hopefully. Okay. We'll and see what the something is full He's just in an in a exploratory vessel. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. okay. He's going to go do Enterprise shit. Okay. And I'm going to set this dude to follow him. Uh, this basically cuts down the amount of time i got to wait for the construction dude to go build shit with the science guy. Mm -hmm. um, because you need to build shit once your science guy figures stuff out. Um, going back to the homeworld sec, I'm just going to take a look at what I got open. I'm going to want to uncover this abandoned strip mine to get more minerals early, because it gives a protection of two minerals once. Uh, Why don't you mine. want two power? Uh, two power is also a good option, but at the moment I have a surplus of power, plus seven, and only 16 mineral production. I need to get my mineral production up first to what's make that, more stuff. What's it's a just, good early sort of mark for mineral production? A good early sort of mark for mineral production varies anywhere between... Plus 30 and plus 50. 
depends mm-hmm. what sort of an empire you're doing okay. and what sort of buildings you got. That's before you have your first colony, or no? That's that's with a couple of colonies. Uh, okay. Early game, uh, no longer do you have to research a colony ship. You already get that technology. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, so they speed they sped things up, up a little bit. Um, so first things first, I'm actually Primus One. We're, we're the first rocker on the sun for once. Wow, this is the first time I've ever done that. Sorry, it makes me happy. Um, well, I, I mean, it's pretty unique, but I mean, you've you've called matter. your system Primus, and you also happen to be on the first one. Yes. So clearly, you guys. Uh, clearly, I called it, guys. Um, you view in the uh, center of the universe rather than. Uh, uh, this this is my own little world here right now. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna finally unpause time, uh, just to let everything start. That's go. everything you need to do. That's um, mostly you... everything you need to do at the start of the game. Some people will immediately start recruiting an admiral or something, uh, okay. but robotic uh, commanders cost a little bit more. I'm going to wait for this thing to clear, and then I'm going to immediately build a pop on it. Now, usually, yeah. pops aren't built to grow, but we're robots, so we have to build all of our populace. So that means, you, unlike they the cost normal minerals. game, you have to actually have a plan, a build plan. Yep. To, um... And you really got to plan it well, because you're spending minerals to make people. Mm. Or you're assimilating some sort of... Or I'm assimilating a, another are. race, but I need to be at war for that. Okay. This early in the game, I'm beating people up. Sorry, building people, not building people. That comes later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a Freudian slip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that voice. Sorry. Oh. oh, okay. You got an alert of some sort. Yep. Uh, the tile blocker got cleared, and it told me about it. Okay. And somebody moved onto it. He's beginning to get built. Oh, that's what I, he's great at. Okay. Yep. And I'm going to queue up the next order to build a populace, uh, population on the this other... two mineral. Okay. Uh, just because I have more than enough power right now, and I'm not was seeing... Was that 2-mineral open beforehand? Yes, it was. I'm cool. stupid. It's okay. I, I would be right. You you, you yeah. go to the one Well, it's open first, yeah. Okay. Or um, you can do a build and a uh, open... Uh, yeah, and... yeah, you could. Um, I'm, a, I'm a little dumb. I, 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 don't I, I cost us a couple days. Right there, but... I cost us a couple days. <laughs> uh, and first thing I'm going to do is uh, our creators are very strong, so they get and industrious, they're going to make minerals better than we are. Which is a little weird, but I think find it hilarious. So, so going I'm going to set the peas in the mines. <laughs> okay. Yep. They're digging for truffles. Um, why don't you just do that for like all the... Because uh, that's all the mines I have. Okay. Or you need mm-hmm. them to be industrious on other things too. No, it's just uh, I, I have no other mines open at the moment. Okay. I gotta settle pops, build things, you know, it'll take a moment. Oh, we have an anomaly. Uh, so these are sort of weird things on planets. They will give you great payoffs if you succeed. The problem is if you fail... It's like an episode of Star Trek now. Yeah, it's like an episode okay. of Star Trek. We're going to send unit uh, Y5, also known as the slightly less charismatic Captain Kirk. Mm, looks like a red robot. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> He's going to research. <laughs> and he'll sit here and scan the planet. And I'm going to just take one moment to admire the aesthetics of Stellaris. It is a very beautiful game. Um, do you got it running on some sort of special? Yeah, I got system? a I got a slight mod on right now, which just it's called Beautiful Galaxy. It makes everything just a little bit prettier, uh, but it doesn't change all that much. Okay, it's just a couple of cosmetic details like this star glow, glow and, and yeah, yeah. a couple of alignment things, and I think there's a couple of worlds unique to it in their design. And I'm just going to quickly orbitally mine this uh, gas giant for three energy right here. Because... Okay, I mean, you just build a thing on it? Yeah, I just build a thing. Okay. Ah! You don't have to land on the planet. Nah, I don't got to go down there. And Primus... What was that? Stellar Primus... Nine. Nine. And B. Nine B. That's its moon. Well, it's one of its moons. The first moon had nothing fucking on it. The second moon had some minerals. Okay, so go... get there. The number is the planet, and then... A is moon one, B is moon two, okay, C, D... You get the idea. yeah, yeah. If you see an X, screenshot that shit. I want to see what it looks like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but your numbering system is is uh, Roman numerals, so... I know. I'll, I'll see X's. Yeah, I'm being a dick. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good. Some more power, which is a good thing to have. Now I'm going to send this dude off. I'm going to... Really? <laughs> 
Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna send him off scouting more stuff. Now, some people will do it such that they'll only scout planets with their first science ship, and then they'll send another one out afterwards. Because I'm set up like this, and I'm uh, this kind of a race with uh, wormholes. I don't really have the range to be bothered with that right now, so I'm just going to send my dude to methodically research everything. Um, and he'll go f to their back. To, to their, their back, back. To their back. To their back. Okay. How with does a he bit get cool back? back? Uh, there's a return button on the ship. I have no idea. Oh, okay. Magic. <laughs> he's a good robot. He does his way home. Okay, that's all the orders I can give him at the moment. So he's going to bop around so he's and do things. The locals. He's getting the near abroad. Okay. As opposed to the local. Oh man, I'm making Russian commentaries with near abroads. Okay, let's go over here. Let's dig the <clears> map. <throat> Hopefully that's not lost on our viewership is the the Russian commentary. I, I have no but, idea. Yeah. <laughs> ah, planet modifier over here. We've discovered alien life. We will be one. Let's simulate this crap. Let's go. What's that is a good thing for you? It's a great thing for okay. me. Okay. The universe am I. Oh, this is hilarious. There's a planet with natural beauty that's tidally locked, and the people that discovered are about the soulless robots that aren't going to appreciate its aesthetics. <laughs> you know, maybe your piggy miners might. They but... might, but I'm not moving them. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Depends how much of a brain they have left. It's an alright planet. The problem you is can't it's sell it for ecotourism. Or no, I can't. No, we, we don't do no, ecotourism. No, We're robots. Okay. So, do you have any need for food? No. Absolutely no need for food. Oh, uh, it's well, only got two the energy rest of the on galaxy's it. Galaxy's not getting there, I believe how that one. Yeah, goes. pretty much. Uh, but it's got a lot of society research on it, which is not bad. That's something you actually. That's uh, something I could use. I could think about putting a colony here, but I'm not going to just yet because it's a already in my borders and b not that great. And okay, I can just okay. put a call a research base next to it. I am, however, going to state it's a beautiful little rock. It is. It's very. It's, nice. But that's not something that comes with the mod pack. No. Okay. I'm just taking a look at this thing. system right here. It's I yellow star system. System survey complete. The Yutz Empire. We discovered artif uh, artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Cygnus Five. Our scientists think they inhabited this region of stars roughly six million years ago. Yeah, well, they're all dead now. So let's go dig up their crap like good archaeologists. And we're gonna go off and find more of their stuff all out over the place. This is basically what this is okay, telling yeah. us. Intelligent life taunts with pointed absence, reads a popular newsprint post on Primus One. I, are, where are a hive mind gestalted thing or machine intelligence? Why are we making newspapers? Is this like the daily information up to do, uh, upload cable in the back of your head? What, what, what is this madness? Well, I mean, no one says that the newspapers you don't have reference to everything the piggies had before. Oh, okay. right. Your we pulled thing. that up too. So, I mean, clearly, you know, <laughs> newspaper is just something that comes up in front of your face and obscures everything. Yeah, so, right. Yeah, like yeah. a giant, you know, tweet from it. Uh, are we making this political? Yeah, we're making uh, this yeah, political. I'm too late. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> tweet from a toilet. <laughs> We're trying to tweeting in space, guys. That's what's happening. Well, that no, that was legitimate journalism. Sure, it was. <laughs> I'm going to uh, go over here, and I'm going to try and get this little bit of uh, physics research, because physics is going to be something we need, and we're only down to six. Minutes. So that means you want to research on the star. We're going to build a research station next to the star. Okay. We're machines. We don't need to live well. Is that unique to your thing, or is that... That's... No, we, anybody can do that. Okay. I, I was just used to going to planets for most things. I, I, that You're might a noob. Just be, I, Yeah. <laughs> Stations are where it's at, man. Um, so is stations like a tech that you had to like? No, yeah. no. Okay, you, you can build that at eight o'clock day one. Now. This might just be six months of catching up. Yep. Yeah. Now these are both tiny little planets. Twelves uh, are the actual smallest planet size you will okay. readily find. There are elevens, but they're so rare you'll barely find more than two of them. Um, and thirteens are tiny too. Uh, for comparison, the tropical paradise planet. we got is twenty-three. So okay. Not bad. Is uh, the total size of a planet just everything within that size box there? How many squares are in it? And the the as big as it's going to be is just fill the window. It doesn't mm. like swirl down. Or... Uh, with some mods, it will do that. But that again takes a heavily modded game. Okay. Um, 
this thing is likely going to be very small, and as you can tell, this is very tall, small. And yes, the planet size actually varies the size of the ball on the screen. Okay. They did so actually. It really does line, line up, and eh, yeah, pretty closely. I like the closest. So actually, before X Games go, you put Stellaris as a as a decent one you would get, or um. Stellaris, I don't view as a 4X game. I view it as a grand strategy trying to be a 4X game. It's somewhere okay. in the middle. Don't want to really spend so much time parsing <laughs> uh, the differences between grand strats and 4X and, and Oh, all sorry, this. sorry. As a strategy game, Stellaris is fun. Uh, I find it a very fast-paced grand strategy, which is why I'm parsing the difference between grand strategy and Grand 4X. strategy means you're, you're, you're dealing with the economy, mm -hmm. you're dealing with research, oh, yeah. you're dealing with like exploration and mm -hmm. map movement. Which is what all this yeah, is. Okay. The problem is it's got the pace of a 4X game. You've got to do everything quickly. Or you're going to get Right. Okay, so here we have traditions, which is what that Unity thing is all about. Uh, this is the part I'm... I'm, I'm You're totally this. lost yeah. in this because you didn't play any of this. Uh, so we have all these different uh, paths that we can take uh, with different payoffs. We can go for synchronicity and become better machine hive mind, uh, prosperity and get better at spending things and making money, mm -hmm. uh, or sorry, credits, uh, domination, get better at subverting people, supremacy, get better at fighting things, and or versatility and you, you get... Um, that's even that every man. No, no, it replaces diplomacy though, uh, oh. because we're a robot. These, this is slightly different than the usual. It's, um, that's different, and this is different. Do you get these unique for robots, or this is unique for all mechanical synthetic races? Okay, makes sense. Uh, a couple things get flipped around. I think it's mostly just synchronicity and versatility replace a couple of other things. Uh, you have to choose this now, or you... I can choose. I I can just sit on it on, on my Unity, but it doesn't mean anything that I don't get the reward, so I should Yeah, we're no. choosing this now. Yeah. Uh, synchronicity is the best thing to start out with as a synthetic race, because it increases your robot build speed. Also because a couple of things that are all really good, like your general build speed getting increased, uh, your machine leaders being less likely to go boom, which is amazing, because cool, okay. they cost money to replace, sorry, influence to replace, and uh, the bulwark of harmony, which I think is the strongest thing I have ever seen recently. Uh, all organisms, no matter how perfect, must rely on the immune system to ward off the threat of outside disease. Our society is no different. We use ships. Uh, basically, okay, yeah. while we're in defensive war with another empire, the build, the build speed is increased by 33%. In addition, the fire rate is increased by 15% for ships within our borders. This means we'll be able to fend off those pesky, pesky biotic life forms. So you're taking that one? I'm taking synchronicity, the tradition, and I'm going to work to that. Okay. And you're, and you're doing that because it fights other things that you're definitely going out against. Yeah. It, it makes me stronger at repelling things. That you're only going to come up against other robots. Very unlikely. It, and we know that because it, it's going to randomly pick between everything that's in your mm -hmm. catalog of... Of everything. Okay. Um, can you just select like which ones you might want to play with? Nope, not yet. Oh. They're going to probably work on that. Okay. That smells like something Paradox will get around to eventually. Uh, they are still making a lot of new stuff for this game. I mean, this DLC just came out. Yeah. Uh, so, they'll get there. It's just a question of, will it be paid for? Probably. And yeah. when? Or, you know, somebody out there in that modding community uh, comes if, across? If somebody from the modding community has already done this and is watching the stream somehow, tell me, man. I, I doubt it. Because, I doubt it, too. Um, it appears that we have one and I'm the one. There have been people who have come <laughs> through and, and have enjoyed their... That's well, good. no, they come through and they left, but yeah. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I mean, truth be known, we're really here to to hack up some YouTube uh, mm -hmm. content. Yep. So while we're going through that, you've just chosen your Unity. Yep. You're, you, you've just gotten a couple of little systems, mm -hmm. and you've built a couple of little things, right? Yeah, a couple of little outposty things. Nothing all, right. all so, that fancy. This is very much the first. How long is a lapse in time? A uh, couple months. A couple months. We're moving faster than light, so moving between these sorts of star systems, we can actually do it pretty quickly. Yeah, sure. Um. <laughs> We're moving light years, man. Many multiple. In the next episode of the YouTube series, we'll definitely <laughs> co comment more on how your faster than light system actually works. Okay. Um, but right now, 
I'm, you know, I definitely want to say you know a few things about yeah. where we definitely see this 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 sort of series and path going. Yeah. Are, are we out for total domination? Or are we out uh, we for... are out to uh, assimilate the world. We we are assimilators. Our job is to make the entirety so of the, when does this, this galaxy. Series end? This series ends when I have assimilated enough of the galaxy that you get the point. <laughs> okay, so. You, you win at a certain time, and it'll go yep. boom. You win, or I. Uh, that's not how Stellaris works. Uh, okay. It will tell you that you've completed the win objective eventually, uh, but to get to that point will take a very long amount of time. Uh, I might run the series that long, but it'll take a very, very long. Yeah, time. we're not doing it in tonight. Probably <laughs> not. Uh, <laughs> hell no. Uh, but I, I could go to to that, or I could go towards. Look at the giant murder blob I made. Hey, I made that murder blob. Oh, look, the next DLC is out. Let's go do that. Okay. We'll see which comes first.